We're back, loners. Hope y'all been doing good. Episode 63. Roll that intro. <laughs> Yes, and shout out to France for, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't condone violence, but... They're making a point. Yeah, they're striking, I don't know if striking is the right word, but protesting. Um, the garbage they, people, is that what it was? No, um, just people in general, because they increased the retirement age from like 62 to 64, I believe. So they get it they're like we're not gonna keep stretching this because who yeah. knows what age it'll be by the time you know certain people re- reach that time period in their life like yeah. one day it's gonna be 68 70 yeah, it's like I know. that's what i was gonna say is that it's just they're just gonna keep pushing up and before you know it it's like it seems like nowadays people have been passing away at like younger ages at least here it feels like that yeah from what i've been seeing but yeah i don't know um, um but it's i think it's a good thing right now because it's gonna set a tone for other places in the world for like don't be doing that yeah like if they just like allowed it passively then other places are gonna be like meh see people don't care people will do anything under their nose yeah it's true also shout out to teachers period anywhere out here they've been striking yeah they have the past two days now yeah and the rain and the wind very like yesterday was horrible weather it was not just raining it was windy yeah and we saw teachers out there and they were striking because they don't get paid enough out here they do not um today's video is can americans understand spanish culture and what a coincidence i don't think it's a coincidence when you choose the videos we're gonna <laughs> <You know? laughs> i meant because uh well, at this time that this video comes out, we'll be back from Spain. Yes. We're filming this before to have something out. Yeah. We're going for a week. Um, I feel like it's it's going to fly by. It is. But make sure to like and subscribe and jump over to our vlog channel so you don't miss anything. All right. We're going to be vlogging over there in Spain. We're going to be living the vida loca. I'm not saying that again. <laughs> Um, I just want to eat and eat and eat so much food when I'm there. She is. She's going to. It's been four years since I've been on an international flight. It's been that long since we've been on an international flight? Yeah, COVID, babe. Come on. Our last one was Bali, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> And I'm nervous. But anyway. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. But yeah, today we're going to do a video by World Friends. I'll put the link in the description below of the original it's called Can Americans Understand Spanish Culture? Let's begin. Because 40 degrees during the summer, trying to dinner <laughs> with that sun. I think so. Mexico, de mi yeah, Me- Mexico. This is the reason why I think all the Spanish moms, they turn crazy. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Hello, my name is Andrea and I'm from Spain. Hello, my name is Shannon and I'm from the US. About Spain specifically, not so much, but I do know about like the running with the bulls, for example, some of the traditional clothing, definitely some Spanish food influence. I do have a lot more familiarity with Latin American kind of Spanish. Spain is an amazing country because languages, also the food is really, really good. Seafood and the fish, oh my God, it's so delicious. It rains a lot, but it's really green and beautiful. It's a very active culture, I think. Yeah. Active and everyone's moving. I mean, I don't generally think of, okay, I Spain. May, maybe it's because like I have family that is Mexican, but I, 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 I think of Mexico when I think of burritos and tacos. Burritos and tacos, I think of Mexico tacos. too. Yeah, I don't think of Spain. Spain, I think more like European food. Like paella. Yeah. Well, in Spain, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, oh sí. No way. Taco and burrito is like Mexico. I th when I think Spain, I think seafood yeah. more so. I was like, going to say seafood. Yeah. But when I think tacos and burritos, I definitely think Mexico. Yeah, actually sure. many people confuse the Mexican tortilla that is a corn, Spanish tortilla that is with potatoes mm. and, and yeah. egg. Oh, that looks potatoes? good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it's, that. It's, it's like this thick, yeah. and is uh, fried potatoes. You wow. mix the egg and after you fry everything, and it's a, it's round. That sounds like. I only know that it was so no, 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 cringe. No, no, no. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Listening to that in headphones made my skin crawl. But I only know that because I used to make that. That at looks so one good. Of my old jobs. Is it? It's, it's not similar to the potato pancake things. The the potato pancake. Why am why? What about I feel the like green onion? The yeah. green onion? No. Um, That's way thinner, huh? You know potato. Gratin or gratin, whatever the fuck people like to call it, because everybody says it different. No, it's just like thinly sliced potatoes that they fry and then they mix it with eggs and then they bake it. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that. Huh, interesting. It's really good. Sounds good. It's better than like quiche, wherever that. I've never was tried that. The, I don't. I, I also really don't like eggs. I'll eat it if I have to, or if yeah. I'm like, you know, I need something in my body in the morning. So that's like a happy medium because you don't really taste the egg. I'm not a big fan of eggs either incredible it's good i That's think it's like one of the dishes that everybody likes mm. because it uh flavor is not so strong so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no way no, no I, uh, way. I actually studied i was a dance minor in college and one of the things that we studied was like uh latin american dance we also studied afro-brazilian and things like that wow. so i i kind of learned a little bit about the differences with this one yeah flamenco is is definitely prominent in spanish culture but it's not everyone dancing all the time <laughs> like yeah yeah and it's a very technique dance yeah so very technical no. well, so th this one channel that i watch about spain is this husband and wife that live there He's from New Zealand or something, mm -hmm. but his wife is a huge flamenco That's cool. person, dancer. Yeah. Nice. Um, imagine you like get off the plane and they're just greeting you with flamenco. I know. I, I do know that Everybody the... breaks out in song and dance. The like electronic music scene is huge in Spain. I in know Europe that. In Europe in general. Yeah, in Europe in general. But I know in Spain it's like one of the biggest. So yeah, we're going to check out the nightlife one of the nights there my cousin's one request we all kind of decided on like non-negotiables like when we go yeah we haven't really decided ours. i know <laughs> well, hers is like she wants to go out to a, a club so we're going that first night we're there yeah which i'm so nervous about because i'm gonna be so tired because we only get the one weekend pretty much the saturday yeah and yeah. then i don't think she knows that most of it's just gonna be electronic music yeah she's thinking we're gonna roll into like a hip-hop club and i'm sure they exist but i don't think it's they're probably as like easily to find as yeah exactly they are here exactly so i'm gonna let her find that out the hard way yeah it'll be fun but yeah all right no <laughs> no like, i uh -huh. i didn't have the chance to learn so mm. it's a pity but i like it to see it <gasps> oh no oh my god oh, really somebody assumed that Oh, no, no way. I would like it, yeah. but no. <laughs> <laughs> I would like it because I could visit easy, yeah, easy you way or our friends from Latin America, but no. Adios mio. No we, way. We are in, in Europe. I like, feel like this is basic geography. I want right. to have a conversation with whoever wrote this in Google. Well, but sometimes happens. I have one word. Mm. I had been asked for a person that speaks Spanish, mm. uh, that person was surprised about the fact that also I speak Spanish. Oh, I didn't know that in Europe you speak Spanish. And I was like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know what to I think answer. It's the same person who wrote this question. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <Probably. laughs> Ah, like chancla? I'm quite wild <laughs> or savage, but I used to be in my bare feet all the time. Ah, yeah. but actually we... I used to, when I was a kid, I used to run around outside everywhere barefoot. I used to do everything barefoot. One with nature. That's right, one with nature. But that's baby. different. You're outside. This is like inside. I finally got slippers. His mom <laughs> got me some. Game changer. I'm tired. I don't have to drag my dusty dogs across this cold <laughs> ground or just wear socks but, I, but yeah still and then what the socks get dirty like slippers just yeah they make sense they do make sense i actually i need to get a pair too yeah but yeah
go inside the homes with also old shoes. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this one probably just depends on the family. This is the reason why I think all the Spanish moms, they turn crazy <laughs> cleaning. <laughs> Cleaning all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, that is minimum one, two times per day. And the worst wow. thing is, after you have an evolution, when you are younger, you are like, oh, mama, why? Okay. Like, oh, why don't you take my but shoes off? After you run, posabasos. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So you run to put it like that, and your friend's like, oh, oh looking wait, at no, you no, like, no. you're talking about the oh, coaster. Yeah, like, yeah, you are your mom now. It's like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like you start I, I to get be it. conscious about the cleaning and stuff. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I think this is this is American style. Also. Uh, well, because we have that famous thing about being relaxed and arrive late. Mm. That is quite true, but it's not something that you consider is positive. We know that it's not a good <laughs> app. Like, we know it's not good. Yeah, it's, and for jobs and all the serious stuff, it's like people take care to not arrive late. But you have to meet your friends. Time is <laughs> relative. Nine. <laughs> or wow. eleven. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild because I obviously know like if someone's having a big get together like a party it's like it's not rude to like show up an hour late no because you know there's gonna be other people they're not waiting just on but you but if you're like grabbing drinks with a friend or like going to dinner like that would piss people off out here if you arrive more yeah. than like 20 minutes late. well if it's just one person and you're literally the oh my only God. other person i would get annoyed too i mean i don't know who wouldn't yeah same yeah i think because a lot of our life works around traffic too to where it's like if you schedule something you're also like considering the yeah how yeah. long you're gonna be there what time you're gonna leave i think that's more out here it. though that's what i just said out here yeah Mer you know well no i'm in like in a bigger city yeah totally <laughs> why not i mean the party is going to end maybe at six at the morning so you <laughs> have yeah. much no. time at, that's at europe right there huh still done in some places respect dude <laughs> honestly yeah. yes and i think it's fantastic <laughs> spanishized but cute Spanish. like for example superman superman yeah. spiderman spiderman harry potter harry potter Thor, <laughs> tomb raider <laughs> ah tomb raider we do <laughs> all that with all the brands like microsoft microsoft i like it though it sounds so much better in spanish it so, does yeah. <laughs> oh this is very different wow it does kind of sound like hermes like something very chic oh i like it well this is due to the fact that english is not you cannot read as you right that's true. but in spanish is like yeah that. it's read as it's as it's written it is some things movies nowadays that we don't translate everything because in the past due to the dictature it, it was an obligation to translate everything that's why all mm. the movies are with uh, spanish boys acting yeah yeah we dinner late but it's it's because of the hours of the sun days are so long they prefer to dinner for example at six the truth is i suffer because 40 <laughs> degrees during the summer trying to dinner with that sun is like you don't have the feeling that it's a dinner it depends on that's the area. true probably you're going to find some shops closed mm. but not everywhere and that's what i know we're gonna deal with when we're there but it's fine we could work around yeah it. exactly we're um, just gonna have to eat late at night yeah which at first like years ago when i would hear this i was like how do you digest it in time and then it's what she said like they're they stay up till like four or five in the morning a lot so of they have times. time to digest it yeah so yeah they're and they're not, probably they're out working it off yeah. yeah they're not going to bed at like 11 they're going to bed at like two three probably later yeah if they go out and it, it has a reason it's also because the duration of the jobs it's so long so you mm. could be exhausted mm. and especially from 12 to maybe 4 it's so hot it's yeah fun. and i believe it's common to take break from like school sometimes or from work and you go take like an hour or two to eat take a rest like yeah yeah you also try to do other stuff there is yeah. people that they think is only the siesta time but mm. only maybe there is some people that only they have this time to do stuff at home so it is not only a siesta time it's a time that you are doing other stuff that right. are important in your life that's kind of nice to have yeah we have it just makes sense yeah like some things you are you just need to do midday versus mm -hmm. wait till nighttime and everyone's out you know yeah because then it just piles up to more stuff later when you don't when you're tired also i feel like anywhere between three to four is like the perfect nap time if you can get a nap in yeah 
of the day that's when you start to like come down for a little bit and you need like a burst of energy yeah it does seem like the perfect time yeah i'm getting a little tired right now <laughs> we need a little siesta <laughs> Something call it sobremesa. Sobremesa. That time that you end your food, and I think also we eat a lot. You cannot move. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> eat yourself into a small coma. Yeah. So you have and to chill. In my family, I really appreciate this time because it's the moment that we can talk as people, mm -hmm. normal people, share our day or things, mm -hmm. and that makes the family closer. So, we so share. this is kind of like That's your cute. downtime with your family to really just relax yeah. after a meal. It's also kindness to the person that was cooking because oh, that yeah. person was going to the supermarket and put in the time and the love to make you food wow. and you do like this and you go. No, at wow. least make some company. Wow. I love that. That's really cool. That is really nice. Yeah, yeah. I think we love it's a refreshing. lot. <laughs> I think, yeah, we laughed a lot. I like this one. This is cool. So I really enjoyed listening to kind of like her perspective. I think it is a country that can be interesting in the language. Not many people know that we speak other languages. Oh, I arrived to Barcelona and I didn't know that they were speaking Catalan. <gasps> yeah. yeah. So today I learned a little bit about Spanish culture. If you have more to share, please leave them on the comments. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, that's why I was reading that too, that in the certain areas of Spain, how they have like these different like weird languages. Like when we go to San Sebastian, it's like a Basque type mm -hmm. of thing. And it's like this weird older language. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say weird, but it's just different. I mean, like foreign like, foreign to us. Yeah. That's no, what I meant. Totally. Sorry. That's going to be interesting. I'm kind of excited to. Me too. To hear. Yeah. And I think generally, generally what I've seen is if you're just, if you're inquisitive and you actually care to like kind of learn a little bit. They're pretty nice, even if you don't speak the language from, you know, where we Well, we'll find gone. out. Be yeah. nice to us. Yeah, Spaniards. In Spain, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, um, thanks for watching, and yeah. go follow our other channel, please. And thank you. It's linked below. And, yeah. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe, baby. Peace, Bye. loners.